Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? <laughs> Man, today we're going to be building something really cool, a really awesome tutorial. We're going to be building a really cool Minecraft farmhouse. And I got it right in front of me. Let me show you. Bam! Look at this thing. <laughs> this is super cool. A lot of people have been asking me for thatch roof style houses. And we're using our boy Jersey Boys pack. So with this pack, it just makes it look even cooler. I'm going to put a link in the description. Check it out. Download it. Play with it. It's amazing. There's version for Java versus for Bedrock. Go crazy. Go <laughs> have fun. Uh, but a really cool thing, really awesome feature that this has, and I didn't go overboard with it, uh, but I won't uh, include it in the main build, is that you can make uh, snow layers were converted into hay layers in different biomes, like plains and other biomes. So I use these hay layers just to make it even cooler. These thatch roofs are just another level of awesome now, but it's fine. If you're not going to use Jersey Pack, how dare you? But it's fine. You don't have to. I'll show you how it looks in uh, without the the layers on this side but look how cool right isn't that awesome so really cool uh, traditional farm house style right here we have a little backyard of amazing awesome little crops over here with a nice little overhang and a little section over here for uh storage little carts and stuff like that perfect for a farm i love it and the the, the style is really cool because i haven't done this in a while using some white terracotta mixed in with a little bit of this awesome uh cobble right there and that you need optifine so make sure if you're on regular java you have optifine so you can get those connected textures so it bleeds into the next block and it looks oh so good but it'll still look good in default trust me but let's start building i'm gonna go over here we're gonna see how to do this so let's get up to the tippity tippity top and there it is um i'll count it out right now for you but these are the blocks you're gonna be needing in your hotbar right now uh some stripped uh spruce wood some cobble some white terracotta some oak stuff <laughs> some uh hay bales some white stained glass trap door and we're gonna bring a couple things along the way but let's start counting this up and let's start doing this so right here in this corner let's start in this just little bitty corner right here so right here we're gonna put let's start here in this middle piece from right here we're gonna get a strip spruce log and we're gonna go up by one two three and four here we're just gonna go one and two just like that uh, on this one we're gonna come all the way down from this let's start counting this is a block one okay so let's count this as one then in the middle all cobble so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen on this corner go up again by four and two on that corner just like that now let's turn it so this is again this is a one then two three four five six seven eight nine so if you see it nine by thirteen super easy take this up by four again take these corner bits up as well and then let's do pretty much repeating the same thing on this side we're going to grab our cobble so this count this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and 13 go up by four just like that uh and then these two in the corner and again we're going to do the same thing over there count one two three four five six seven eight and this is a nine that's it this is a little box that's your frame now over here come with me uh let's take a spot right here this, this cobble right here just go down one two three four five six seven and we're going to do a little extension here that's where your shed is going to go it's going to go up by one two three and four as well one two three and four as well just leave it right there for now okay perfect now let's work on this part so let's do this i'm just going to go up normally with terracotta from here to here so let's speed this up i'm just going to go from one end to the other and we'll do a little texture after all right hold on Perfect. So both sides are completely mirrored now. Let's go right in the middle. I'm going to skip uh, every other space and I'm going to go up with the strip spruce and then we're going to go ahead and mix it in in the middle just like that. Perfect. I'm going to repeat it on the other side. All right, there we go. So everything is mirrored, looking amazing. Now, let's uh, pop in a little bit of window action. So right here on this corner, I'm going to come right to this edge. I'm going to knock down this one and this one right here. Let's come to this side. I'm going to knock down this one and this one, just like that. And now let's knock down this, 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 and that right there. Let's make a big, cool door. So let's grab a stair of cobble. And I'm going to go ahead and put an upside down here and an upside down right there. I'm going to grab our trap doors and just, just take it uh, all the way around like so. On the inside, I'm going to put trap, 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 trap. All these traps covering everything up and get rid of those two because in here we're gonna put a door and let's just drop it in right now let's get it out of the way uh so right here and door perfect so we have this cool little section right here now stained glass bam bam and bam bam right there now a little thing that i want to do right now is drop some trap doors right here two on top two on top of that that'll be your shutters now 
this is very plain. Now, if you want to add a little bit of texture, uh, it'll look good in default or it'll look good in Jeremy's pack, but it'll look even better right now in Jeremy's pack with Optifine. So let's drop a little bit of cobble here. You see how this goes up a little bit? How about we do a little cobble right here and maybe one more there and maybe one more there. See how it just comes around like that? Let's just do a little bit. You don't have to do it, just a little tiny bit. How about if we do something like that on the side? You see that? Maybe even take this down. Oh, like that. It just, it looks like it's washed out. It's so cool. Let's do that. Let's do that in a couple spots. So I'm gonna do one over here as well. Let's do a couple like that, maybe going up. That's cool. Let's do another little bit going up like so here. Maybe a little bit right around that. And maybe another little corner bit. Just on the corner, so it's kind of washed out. Uh, let's take that one out so it's not exactly symmetrical. There we go, that's cool. Let's do it also on this side. Uh, let's see, maybe just a few, just like that. Now, I'm not gonna put any windows on this side. On this side, we're all gonna put some windows. I'm just gonna put one here. And, oh, no, um, hold on. Uh, here, uh, no, actually, there, there. <laughs> there, hold on. There and there. Uh, hello, perfect, right there and there, perfect. So I'm gonna grab this guy, let's put the glass right up on there, and some trap doors, maybe one here and one there, looking really cool. Now, on this side, we're gonna go ahead and leave it, uh, let's see, what do we put the window, let me make sure, where do I put that window? Okay, I put single windows. <laughs> we're gonna put one right over here, and then one right over here. So three space on that side, two space from the end on this side, Drop your glass and let's drop some trap door. Maybe one here and one there. Perfect. Now, next up, let's grab some spruce stairs. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some spruce stairs on top of all of these logs that are placed right here, just to add a little bit of support and detail around this edge. Just go all the way around. Perfect, boom, just like that. Now, let's work on the actual roof. And this roof is super simple. I'm gonna show you how we're doing it. Let's start right here in this corner. We're gonna put a oak stair, and we're gonna run a line all the way down from one side to the other, just like that. We're gonna go and do an upside down stair regular stair upside down regular and guess what we're gonna go upside down and regular all the way up till we get to the middle piece which would be this log then we're gonna put an upside down stair here and a slab right there and then we're just gonna come back down the other way and, and i missed it's fine <laughs> we're gonna come back down the other way until we get all the way back to the other side which is right over here now i'm gonna go ahead and run that line all the way down full of stair and guess what we're gonna repeat that same thing on this side, but I'm gonna do it real fast. You've seen it already. All right, perfect. So we have everything mirrored from one side to the next. Now, to make our lives easier when it comes to placing uh, that hay, let me show you a trick, but, but first off, let's cover this spot up right here in this middle. Right here, all you wanna put right here is some of the, let me grab it, spruce, regular old spruce. So we're just gonna go from right here, take this line all the way down to that point, then just cover up everywhere there's an upside down stair. So cover that up, cover that up, and then this is just fine. Let's actually put that for now uh, because we're gonna need that as a placeholder anyways. So let's do this again over here on this side. Take it up in a little uh, a little pyramid look right there, perfect. Now, the, the blocks I'm gonna put right in this moment, they're gonna be placeholder blocks only. So let's place them now. Again, you're gonna take these out after. So let's take this all the way down right here. Let's take this out all the way here. Let's take these down all the way here. And again, we're gonna take these out. It's just making it a lot easier to place all the blocks. So trust me, let's go ahead and just take all these down. If you wanna keep it, uh, that's fine. It doesn't have to be just a placeholder. It's up to you guys and see um, you know, how you want your style and the interior to look. And guess what? At the end of the video, I'll show you what we have inside. Interior is all done on that one. Okay, perfect. So we have this laid down. So for this, now that what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just place it randomly. So uh, we can go straight down. We can twist it, turn it this way, and look, it's directional. So wherever you place it, there's where it's gonna go. So let's go like that, see some are twisted. Now, I'm gonna place all of it first, and then we'll pop in the windows after. Just so you can see different types, different styles that you can do when it comes to this particular build. You don't have to put those windows. You can actually do it just like we're doing it right now, and just put the whole thing out of, uh, out of the, uh, out of hay, but if you wanna put windows, add a little more detail, I'll show you how to do that. So I'll give you a couple variations of how to do this specific build right here. Uh, so there you go, little mix, mishmash of that. I'm gonna just go ahead and just do this other side real quick. All right, perfect. So this side is completely mirrored to the other side. Well, just minus the random patterns, so it's fine. Now on the tippity top here, we're gonna go ahead and do a trap door. This, so these are oak trap doors and then slab. So oak and slab interchange in every other one, and we're just gonna go down like this. 
Boom, perfect. Cool, now, if you wanna leave it like this, go ahead, just leave it like that. If you wanna add some windows though, I'm gonna show you where to add them. So let's grab a full block as well. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna put a window right here. So take this block out, this one out, this one, and we're putting a full block and take that part for the window out. So we're gonna take out this, 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 take the window out, replace those. Okay, take out this, 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 take the window out, replace those right there. Now, I'm gonna grab a stair, and we're gonna put a stair here, 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 there, all sideways. Then we're gonna put an upside down stair on each of these. Then we're gonna put a slab here and a stair right there. So, slab here, stair right there, slab here, stair right there. Look how cool, just like that. That looks super, super awesome. I'm in love with that. Uh, one other thing you could do, just to add a little more detail. Put a full block right here, so it looks like the line uh, of spru uh, well, of oak <laughs> went all the way back and into this corner. Now, let's do it again. I'll show you real fast. So right here, one, two, three, take it out. One, two, three, take it out. One, two, three, take it out. And again, full block, full block, full block, all the way down like so. Full block here, full block here, full block there. Then we got our stairs going here, 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 there, there, and there, and then upside downs all the way till we have our stairs in the back corner and our slabs in the front. Put our little white stained glass in there, and that just looks so cool. I love that so much. Now, we're looking good. Everything's coming out amazing. Now, one other thing I wanna do is do this. Let's grab our stair. I'm gonna connect this one. So right here, we're gonna put our stair on this level, so one, two, three on the fourth one, and just run that all the way down this could be a little tricky so you might have to remove a block so you can do it and just put it back when you're done that's fine uh and then we're gonna go ahead and go back again all the way this way let's remove that block real fast uh i can't place it we're fine uh that goes here put that guy back in there perfect and again we have oh we're gonna have to take this out one more overhang a little bit and just come back normally and we're gonna meet up right here in the center and then let's run this line as well so for this one, oh, actually, my bad. No, we're gonna put, uh, <laughs> we're gonna do our thatch roof there, my bad. So leave it right here to that side. We're just gonna continue the same exact pattern we did on the other one, just a smaller version. So let's just take this down. People probably scream, it's like sausage, that has to be thatch. That's fine, we got this. Um, and now, again, to make it easier on your life, uh, let's do this. Run this line this way, run a line this way. You can use any block, I'm using these for now. And you can just run it down all the way here run this down all the way here and this again makes it so much easier whenever you're placing any of the blocks so run this all the way down and leave it like that okay so let's do our a thatch roof again so random placements something like so something like that looking very cool let's go like that maybe a little twisted twist uh this we could do real fast let's just see if we can finish this off so something like so and something like so perfect and again we're doing the same thing slab 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 on every other one trap door on every other one after that and we have this cool look to it now to add more details let's start by doing this let's get rid of this this was just a placeholder get rid of this part here let's replace these though with some of the spruce there and go all the way down you can leave that beam actually up there it might look pretty cool uh take this all the way down i'm gonna grab our trap door which is right here i'm gonna use these trap doors as walls which is super cool let's actually put it on this side so I'm gonna go down here, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way until we get to the tippy top, cover all this up, and this trap door makes it look like a really cool rickety old wall. Look at that, it looks awesome. You can put it on the outside or you can put it on the inside. It really depends what you feel like. I think on the other one, I might have put it on the inside. Either one, it's fine. Now, um, for this part, you're pretty much close to finishing. The only thing we need is a fence. I'm gonna drop this fence going all the way down right here just for a little bit of extra uh, security in here, even though somebody can just walk in and take anything. So right there, that is your uh, your your house on the front. Now let's put in this glass uh, before we forget. Now another thing you wanna do is to add even more details. Uh, we can put a little flower box right here. Uh, we can put a little trap door action. Another thing that I did here, I grabbed some of the trap doors of the dark oak variety and I made a little seat, a little chair right here. Uh, on this pack, which is amazing, 
there is a bed and it's a brown bed and it looks like a little bed so i use this but if you're not using germs pack it's fine you could use a slab there and that's fine you have a little seated area in the front which is really cool uh the lanterns this is still 113 not 114 yet lanterns are end rods so you can use these right here they're converted into lanterns so that's better than an end rod right look at that uh it's super cool once 114 comes i believe there's two different lanterns that are really awesome for you guys to try out now on this side you're good now on this side what i want you to do is this is going to be pretty cool let's do a little ring around here so we can have that little outside portion right there also let me come here let me grab this real fast let me grab this wall and also let me grab these slabs and then also let me grab some of the stone and some of the cobble walls and some of that okay we got a bunch of stuff now <laughs> all right cool so let's mix and match this so maybe a cobble here let's do a stone brick couple stone bricks maybe a stone uh, let's do some cobble. Let's do a stone. Stone right there. Let's do a little cobble. Stone, stone, and maybe a stone right there. Let's put a wall here. We're going to put a wall here. We're going to put over here a wall, another wall. Then let's grab. I left my slab. I'll oh, just grab it. Okay. Uh, and then we can go ahead and do a little slab here, slab here, placeholder slab, and there we go. That's a little awesome little lift there. Now, I'm going to go maybe every other like this. We're going to put some. Uh, slabs just randomly placed no big deal it could be any variation or whatever and then we can also if you want you can make some of the slabs uh, like this maybe one of those and there we go and then that that's pretty much it we're done <laughs> let's take a quick little spin I'm gonna show you some interior what you can do on the inside just to give it a little bit more life make it look a little cooler uh, but I love it let's go in here real fast so you can see uh, grounds the the terraforming texture a little bit of gravel some coarse dirt we put some fence gates here to get in a, a little patch of a bunch of different crops over here this side i left it clean but that's fine you don't really need to put everything in every spot so let's leave that clean there and it looking very very cool so let's go inside so for the interior let me show you what we could do this is just a little bit of inspiration uh you can got you guys could do anything you want on the inside have fun but here's some inspiration for it so as far as the flooring i put a mix of cobble and stone coming in here uh, put hay bales on the floor uh face down over here i put hay bales on the floor and the yellow carpet in this pack is also like a little layer of hay uh which is super cool on this side we got a kitchen uh oh i forgot a little fireplace uh, i did end, end up putting a little fireplace right here this is where i ended up putting it over there i didn't put it but that's fine you don't need it uh but it's right here on this level so one two back here really simple fireplace uh, so this you can put it right here in the corner and that's where you do your, your cooking uh, we got trap door action here make it look really cool a little uh, nice area with cabinets and everything for your kitchen a uh, little seating area on this side and then we did a little lofty area here too so this is kind of open but over here we have our bedroom a uh, very simple baby chandelier right there with the lanterns looking pretty cool and i love the way this feels on the inside it does feel like a farmhouse close the door uh over here storage just random storage you could have made this room into anything you could do a bedroom here an office here a bathroom bedroom whatever you want <laughs> so we made that into a little um little uh, uh, uh storage spot here more stores almost like a pantry kind of thing uh, and it's kind of cool i had to have it open but with like a little room divider here super cool i love that uh and then we have our stair going up right here a little turn and we have beds double beds one here one there storage on the side and you can see down whoever's you know if you're just waking up for dinner and somebody's doing some cooking you can look down and be like oh that's a cake right there. it's brand new i'm gonna go downstairs and eat uh and that's it we got windows on every corner well uh, we got a little trap doors as a blind so if you want to just close it in that's perfect that's fine little blind right there it's closed out uh, but that's it that's all there is to it uh let's jump out here for a little moment let's go ahead and take a little spin hopefully you guys did enjoy this this was a lot of fun to do uh let me know if you want to see more builds in this style i love that uh white terracotta uh wood combo it's so much fun i can make so many other different variations of this or if you want to see any other style any other build let me know let me know down in the comments below but you know what that's the back of my head but that's the front i'll see you guys very very soon on the next episode have an awesome day uh and i'll catch you later Bye-bye.